we get the rock and roll horns up for, I want to say, a Canadian band whom I've loved, Killer Dwarfs. And uh, I, I've seen Killer Dwarfs live. And this video right here that we're going to do, we're doing the song Stand Tall from the album Stand Tall. The There is a mystery going on with this band and with this album in particular because it is not available on the streaming sites and I want to know why. This is when I got on to Killer Dwarfs. Back in the day, Headbangers Ball, this video will be coming from Headbangers Ball. There is hide nor hair that you can find about the album Stand Tall. But the good news here is that in this video, Stand Tall, they are going to create with their own hands that record. So by the end of it, you will see the album cover, you'll see how they made the record and everything because it's all part of this video. I also believe that there's an underlining me subliminal message in here that I've thought for years, like they got cornholed by uh, a record label and they've had to deal with some, a bunch of sh shady shit ever since. But they went on to even be bigger, if you remember uh, Dirty Weapons, that song Dirty Weapons, and it doesn't matter at all. So they moved up the ladder, but what happened with this album here? I didn't even know this, uh, I had seen this video, I didn't know, I just found it. It's been up for a little while now, but I hadn't looked in a little while. Stand tall. Here we go. This is the Channel Changer, takes us deep into Killer Dwarfs. They're headed to the big record label right now at the beginning of this record. You'll see what happens. Let's go. Bang. Monster Records. You gotta stand tall, stick to your guns. Rust Dwarf there. See, now they're at home recording a record. They're showing up what they're made of. Now you gotta burn the uh, the master print of the record. That's what Russ is doing now. Polish it out good. It's like Jack White's company. Now, of course, you got to boil up all of the, uh, the vinyl goop. Blow down the pipe. This is, in fact, how they make records. You match it down. Don't turn it like that, though. The label on it. Little Rossi, he, he's so fun. Then it comes along the uh, clothing line there. I don't know if that's a proper technique in the vice. The missing record, the missing link. And then at the very end of it, when you got the art, you put the plastic wrap on it and you put it in the microwave. Three minutes, is it three minutes? I would love to listen to that record right there that they have in their hands. I'd like to. And the chicks dig it. And then they say, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're Killer Dwarves, Monster Records. 
You guys might be monsters, but we're killer dwarves, and uh, we'll stand tall against you. 1986. I uh, what say you? If anyone can feed me any information behind the scenes about what the hell is going on, I want the long saga, the story behind that record. What the hell happened with it? Because uh, I wanted to just pipe it on. And uh, the, uh, Killer Dwarves is on all this on the uh, streaming sites. They're all there, except that album is not there. And I want to know the whole saga and story behind all that. A what say you? Get in the comments and tell me exactly what you think of Killer Dwarves, okay? Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan just like you, and I have the answers to all of your woes. Is that really how you make a record? I mean, I, pr I think that it's pretty close to exact. We'd have to call someone like, you know, Metallica have their own printing plant, or Jack White, and say, did they get this right on the money? Is it close enough? Um, I... Tell me all your stories about Killer Dwarves. You ever met these guys? I saw these guys live once. It was fantastic. Um, all-time favorite albums, all-time favorite songs. Maybe you've got a different album that you like more than I like what you like. Uh, or you could say, not good, not great, Shane. It's just not my cup of tea. It's kind of that, well, it's that hair metal stuff from the 80s. Uh, right in that prime time of 1986, in fact. But uh, I don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to that again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you got a request, want to see it on the channel, hit those links. Or you can put it in the comments, but you got to subscribe. Swing it out. That was for Daddy. That's for me today. Killer Dwarfs. I, we, investigation. Stand tall, stick to your guns.